better wake up. Yes, God's gonna, God's gonna destroy the wicked. The Bible says, though you join hand in hand, you shall not go unpunished. God is a righteous judge. And He judges you according to what He says is right, not according to what the world says is right. The world and God are at enmity against each other. Yes, the world and God are not are not one. No, you must repent. The Bible says, if anyone is a friend of the world, he's an enemy of God. In James chapter 4, verse 4. Do you know God? If you know God, you will not stand for wickedness, you will stand for God. Preach it, Judgment day is coming soon. Judgment day is coming soon. The Bible says, do not love in word and and in tongue only, but love in deed and in truth. Yes, deed and in truth. You can't say that I love God while you live in wickedness. You got to repent. Repent means to turn, to turn from your wicked ways. If you're a man, God wants you to live like a man. If you're a woman, God wants you to live like a woman. Yes, the Bible says effeminate will not inherit. The Trust the Lord. Of God. If you're a feminine man, the Bible says you're not going to heaven. In First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine and ten. So God, does God want to destroy you? No. But we're here to warn you of the wrath to come. The Bible says this in Colossians chapter 1 and says, it says this, it says, Warn every man, teaching every man in all wisdom that, that you may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Look that Bible verse up. Colossians chapter 1. God's going to judge you. You're supposed to be preparing to meet God. You're not supposed to be uh, flamboyant in your sin, boasting in your sin. You are working iniquity. You are working sin. That brings wrath on your life. That brings a curse on your life. You, you have a curse on your life. That's why you're depressed. That's why you have anxiety. That's why you need depression medication. Because you're not living for the will of God. But you can have a blessing. You don't have to be under the curse. You don't have to, see you are, if you are homosexual, you have been, you have a spirit of homosexuality. You need deliverance. You, you need forgiveness. For you, assholes. you need to be a true Christian, a true disciple. Yeah, these people don't love you. They love their own sin. They love their own lust. Jesus loves you. And Jesus does not put up with sin. The Bible says that he hates wickedness. He hates iniquity. God hates iniquity. So that's why it's a miracle that you can still escape hellfire. You can still escape the judgment of God, but you have to wake up. You have to wake up. Uh, the Bible says to awaken unto righteousness and sin not. That means God will always provide a way out of the sin in your life. Listen to this. It happened to me. I was a drug dealer six years ago. And I got set free in jail in Butler County. And guess what? God, God forgave me. Amen. And I get set free from, from pain pills, which is just like heroin, if you know anything about it. And God, God forgave me. But you know what God said in John chapter 8, verse 11? He said, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. That was the instruction that Jesus gave to the woman caught in adultery. And my friend, I was caught in my sin. I was facing a felony. And I was not a Christian. Hey, brother. I, I went to church. Hey, brother. I was religious, but I was not a Christian. I was not born again. Will you stand where and you're standing for about this. five or ten minutes and just he hold this pointing towards Jacob? This is live stream. Watch your hand. Not. Okay, you just no. stand right where you were. So that's First John chapter 3. The Bible says, He that sinneth is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. So I started reading these, the Bible in jail. And I started seeing that that's why I had a curse on my life. That's why nothing was working out for me. Because the Bible says the way of a transgressor is hard. It, it's hard in your sin. Amen. It's difficult in your sin. It, the Bible says that you're cursed. So your relationship, it, if you have sin in your marriage, if you're looking at pornography in and, and, and your marriage and you're defiling your wedding bed, bed, that is bringing a curse on your life. And I'm here to tell you because I love you. That you can't have a curse if you want to be happy. So true happiness comes through the blessing of Christ. Christ came and died for your sins. He was thinking of you on that cross when he died for your perversion. 
you he died for your sin. He was thinking of you because he loves you. Yes, he does. He loves you with all of his heart. And don't resist his love today. Just like a good father would tell you, this is wrong, this is bad. That's what God does for us. He, he tells us what's right and what's wrong. And that's what the Holy Word is. The, the, the commandment is love, but love does not rejoice in iniquity. It rejoices in the truth. So what that means is Watch your mouth. not rejoice in sin. Yeah. You can't There's kids around here. There's kids around there. You're going to talk like that with children around here? You're a bad mom. You're a horrible mother. And a man for a woman. That the man would leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. And Leviticus 18, verse 22, it says, Thou shalt not lie with a man with mankind as you do with womankind. It is abomination. So God says sodomy is an abomination. Lesbianism is an abomination. Yes. And in Romans chapter 1 it says that they leave the natural use for the woman. The women leave the natural use for the man and burn in their lust for the women. And the men leave the natural use of the woman and burn in their lust one with another. So when you're in, in sexual immorality, when you are in uh, homosexuality, you're just burning in your lust. That's what pornography does. It, it gives you demons, so you burn in your lust. And you can't stop lusting. Everything is about sex. And, and you get the fire. You get you get the fire. Nope. See, there's no rest for the wicked. I want you to have rest. Yeah. I want you to have peace. This is this is a How you doing? God abomination. bless you, sir. God bless you. Pride parade is wicked. And the Bible says that. God bless you. Judgment will fall on the wicked. It says this. It says, Amen. The upright shall you. inherit the land, Amen. but the wicked shall be cut off from it. Yes. It says, But the perfect shall remain in the land. Yes, hallelujah. But the transgressors will be rooted out of it. Yes. So the transgressors, those are the people that break God's law. Those are the people that go outside the bounds of what God says is okay and what is not okay. God is, is warning you today, Dayton, Ohio. It doesn't matter. The whole the whole world turned against God in the days of Noah. God killed everybody. You know why? Because it, it made God so sad that everybody was so wicked. And God gave them 120 years to get right with Him before He killed them. And, and yet, that's the mercy of God. God. God gave them 120 years and sent them a preacher. His name was Noah. He was a preacher of righteousness. Mm. And what happened? The people didn't repent and everybody drowned in the judgment of God, in the flood. And the, and the Bible says in the last days it will be just like that. They How you doing? doing? Just what they do. How you doing, doing today? They'll be going along with life, just eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, like nothing's happening. But can God you bless not you. see that judge, judgment is on the land? Can you not see that you don't know the Bible? You don't know the Word of God. You're teaching your children that they're, they're boys when they're girls. You're confusing them. They need to be taught the right way. They need to be taught, if they're boys, how to be a boy. Yeah, that's why God gives us a father. And if you're a girl, God wants you to know how to be a woman of God. That's what the instruction of the Word of God gives us. The Bible gives us the instructions of life. Yes, the instructions of life. The Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect. Amen. Early fire furnished unto all good works. Amen. So you are you are supporting uh, pedophilia when you're out here. I want you to know that. Do you know what these people do? They, they, they take children to drag queen story hours and they and they sexualize little kids. And then they, you know why? Because they're pedophiles. They're perverts. Millstone. Yeah. So Millstone. So, so the devil's coming for your kids, mom and dad. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't a game. And God is angry with you. That's right. If you are, per, if you are bringing your kids here, God is angry with That's you. That's right. Yeah, millstone. The judgment of God is on you. Millstone. Yeah, the, the Bible says this. 
If you would cause one of these little ones to stumble, if you cause one of these little ones to sin, the Bible says it's better that you tie a milk, it's better that you have a millstone tied around your neck and cast yourself into the sea. So the Bible says you're better off tying a millstone around your neck and casting yourself into the sea than causing a child to sin against God. Yeah. You, don't love, you don't love God. Judgment's coming for you. You guys are so afraid of corona and cancer, but that's the judgments of God because you're wicked. It's the judgments of God because you're wicked. You don't understand what God is saying to you. You can't hear. You can't hear God. Yeah. Look at you. You're full of demons. You people are demon possessed. Shame on you saying that you're of Christ. If you're supporting this wickedness. Two minutes, brother. The Bible says to come out from among them and be separate. Listen to the word of God. It says, it says, touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you, saith the Lord. You need to open your Bible and you and stop leading your children to the devil. Stop leading your children to the devil. And lead them to the word of God. Lead them to the Bible. Yes, the Lord yes, will you Jesus in Jesus' name. Switch it, yeah. up. Switch it up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We came. The Bible says this. Satan came to kill, steal, and destroy. But Christ came that you might have life. And life more abundantly. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Christ came that you might have life. And life more abundantly. You, you can have the peace of God. You can have the mercy of God. You don't have to be under the curse. Yes, the wrath of God abides upon all the children Hallelujah. of disobedience. Hallelujah. Yes, you can't Jesus say that you are of God the while you support sodomy. That's the an abomination to God. The blood of Jesus. And the Bible says homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Yes, so you choose this day whom you will serve. You better get a Bible and start reading it. because the Bible, Jesus said you will be judged by my words when you die. Amen. Day, you'll be judged by the word of God. Amen. And we're here that you might repent. Amen. We're here that you might have a blessing on your life. Amen. And get out of this corruption. It's... This is corruption. You've been corrupted. You've been deceived by the devil. That's right. There's judgment. There's judgment on the land. Yeah, the judgment of the Lord is about to fall on you. Jesus ain't the Messiah. There you, go. you don't know Jesus. The Not Bible the says, Messiah. How you doing, sir? If we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Two minutes. Switch. He that says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar. Amen. And the truth is not in him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Switch it up in about but two the Bible minutes. Says if you don't keep God's commandments, you don't know him. About two minutes, switch it up. A couple couple minutes, switch it. We're gonna yeah. We thank you, God, for warning these people. We thank you for warning these, these uh, fake Christians that don't know your word. Yes, it's the word of God. That's How you doing? How you doing? Can I give you my card? I'm Jewish, honey. It wasn't very nice. But uh, God is sending me a message and he wants me to suck all y'all's fucking cocks. That was disgusting. I forgive you, but God doesn't forgive you unless you repent. You gotta repent. I'm Jewish, bitch. So you need a Messiah. You need a Savior. You, you're not... We're all chosen, but you gotta choose. You gotta turn from your sin. Uh, according to the Bible, you're not chosen if you ain't Jewish. Heaven is your destiny, but you're choosing hell. You know that actually being homo and actively participating in this. I'm not scared of homosexuals. Are you Christophobic? I'm saying homophobic as in the hatred or disliking. I love homosexuals. Why do you think I'm here on my Saturday? I have a lot of better things I could be doing on my Saturday, but we love you so much. What does, what does that Corinthians passage say? What is the, what is, what is that Corinthians passage It says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. It says that fornicators... Okay, anybody that's having sex outside of marriage, it says adulterers, if I was cheating on my wife, it says idolaters, if I'm worshiping anything above God, it says homosexuals, it says liars, thieves, drunkards. The King James Version says uh, abusers of themselves with mankind and effeminate, but the modern translations, like the, um, the actual new, new King, the Greek, the actual, the actual Greek translation. I know what it's porne, pornea, 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 pornea. But I'm telling you, that, that, is, that's, means, that means male prostitutes. 
including with male prostitutes. So that's why it says effeminate and abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with more kind are more like male prostitutes. That doesn't directly mean gay. Jude, it's in the New Testament. Romans chapter 1 has homosexuals. Jude is only one chapter. It's verse 7, homosexual. So there's three places in the New Testament that have homosexuals. Listen, just, be, just because homosexual affirming authors in the last 50 years have changed the the meaning of that word doesn't mean that it, that's what they that's not what the original Aramaic and Aramaic. 176 new words for each with their own individual meaning. 78 of them would Listen. only use once. You know in your conscience that it's a male and a female are the ones that are supposed to be married. You know in your con you know in your conscience. You might not admit it to me and that's fine, but but creation testifies that only a male and a female can procreate. Without without that, we would go extinct. So I mean, God's trying to speak to us through creation, but you reject it. Listen, genetic genetic mutations are very very far from you. No thank you. No thank you. Here I'll give you one. Here you go. Amen. The Bible says it does. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. Yeah. You're homosexual. You must be born again. Yes. Yeah. Your, your, your sex outside of marriage is not of God. Amen. It's called adultery when you have sex outside of marriage. It's called fornication. And Jesus weeps Amen. every time you Jesus sin. Jesus weeps because you sin against him. You hate him. And that's why you sin and say that it's okay with God. Amen. Shame on you. Amen. Amen. Uh, God loves you if you repent. The Bible says that God loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son. But if you don't accept his son, you don't get God's love. That's right. If you reject God's, if you reject the son of God, then you don't get God's love. You got God's wrath. And you're just, you're stuck in your deception. Yes, and you'll be destroyed with this world, just like in the days of Noah. Only know, eight people survived. Only eight people obeyed God, and you're just like that generation. You're stiff-necked. Hey, you're hard-headed. You're hard-headed. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Sorry, I keep yes. preaching. Keep preaching. Don't get aggro. Turn to Jesus Christ. Oh, no, don't get aggro. Don't get aggro. Don't touch him. All right, you go, 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 go back to your side. Don't have him touch me. Go back to your side. 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 All right. Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. Give us six feet. Give us six feet. Six feet. They've been turned over. You see, it doesn't. It starts with watching pornography. Young people, listen up. It starts with pornography, and then, and then, and then, uh, the soft, the soft pornography doesn't do it anymore. Then you have to start looking at hardcore porn, and then you start looking at gay porn, and then you start looking at child porn. Amen. That's what happens when you're a porn addict. That's what happens. It doesn't satisfy you. The Bible says the wicked wax worse and worse. The wicked. Grow worse and worse. Amen. It doesn't matter all you scream. It doesn't matter how much you scream. The judgment's coming. And, and you would be wise. You, you would be wise. Very wise to listen to God. You would be very wise to get a Bible. And read it and believe it. Amen. Amen. The wisdom of God. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. You need the fear of God. Amen. Amen. You, re you ready, Cor? All right. Yeah. Here's another man of God that's been set free from his sins. He's going to testify to you today. Amen. Go preach it, bro. Praise the Lord. Here to tell you. I used to be a gangster. Turn it up, brother. Turn it, turn it up. Um, turn it all the way up. Other way. There you go. Hey, bro. Jacob. Jacob. 
Far from the peaceful shore. God is Nobody came to my switch that banner out. Yeah, that, let's switch that let's switch that out. That's a lot louder. This is a lot louder. So can I have it? Up? Can I have it? I had to come to a point. Okay, hold this for a second. I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it. In Jesus Christ. He wants me clean, white as snow. Test, test. Use this one, bro. Let me I'll hold that for you. Take it off. This one's a lot louder. Okay, here, let me put this around you. There you go. And I'll take it for you. Test, test. There you go. It's a lot louder. Keep it, keep it pointing that way. There you go. Who's down over there? You're good. I was sleeping around. I was 40 feet. Give me a second, bro. I'll take it. Hold on. What is that? Give me a second. I'll take that back. Hold on. The Lord forgave me of my sins. He changed me. I was held in the back of the head by day before my 21st birthday. I'm here to tell you. Take this. I got it. Take this back, bro. Take this one. Me up from the Man, thank you. Yep. I'm here to tell you that God can deliver you. Way loud. He can hear you. Amen. But the Bible declares in the book of Leviticus, man cannot live with mankind. And women shall not lay with women time. It is abomination against God. And God is going to judge your sin. Your sin has separated you far from God. Do we look separated from God? It's your sin. Yes. God loves you. It, it's, not, it's not you, it's your sin. I don't have a problem with you. Jesus doesn't have a problem with you. But he has a problem with sin. But the Bible says that he says no, almost like you will not inherit the kingdom of God. It's in the Bible. So now you must repent. After the horns, you still must repent. When you go home, you still must repent. After the parade, the word is repent and turn away Why are from you your here, sin. brother? I'm, yeah. I'm here because. Sin is a reproach to Dayton, Ohio, and God sent his soldiers out here to lift up the name of Jesus because some of these sodomites, homosexuals, are going to get saved because the Holy Ghost, the conviction is falling upon them. And we believe that God doesn't want anybody to go to hell, but for all to come to repentance. God brought us out of the mud, so we're out, out here to, to uh, bring these people out of the mud in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, brother. Hallelujah. Believe it's on that heart. How can they call on him who does not hurt or believe? And how can they believe unless they hear? And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach unless he's been sent? The Lord sits in here and tell you repent. Repent. Because the judgment is coming. Judgment is sure to come. And we are to warn you. In Ezekiel 33, he said, when the sword comes upon the land, to warn the people of their sin, and we are here to warn you of your sin, please, from the last to come, God loves you, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him, for that prayer, to have everlasting life. You're perishing right now. See, the Bible says to a man, the way it seemeth right, but the end is death. I don't care if it's a thousand or a million people. The Lord, He will fulfill His word. He is not a man that He shall lie. And I plead with you to repent and turn away from homosexuality. It's a sin against the body. And the Bible says the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. He, he's I talking about uh, going and talking to those hey, people. Hey, man, you need some tracks? You need some tracks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Whenever, whenever he's um, done preaching and is ready to pass it to Joe, well, I just need you to grab Joe's uh, banner from him uh, because he, okay, thanks. So we're here today to let you know, regardless of you, you hating the word, 
be the Bible declared. In Corinthians, First Corinthians, he said that he uses the hey, Joe. Joe, Joe, hang on. Yeah, no, 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 you're good. No, you're good. I'm just going to move the banner. You're fine. You're good, bro. You're the foolish thing in the world to change the world. You must understand that. And he uses the weak thing to strengthen those things that are the weak thing to change those things that are mighty. And you think that homosexual is mighty. But I'm here to tell you, the power of the Holy Ghost is greater than anything in the world. That's and that is what you need. You need a ghost of the Holy Ghost to God. Amen. 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 How you doing? How you doing? God bless you. Can I get a card? Repent today. That's all you have to do. All you have to do is repent. Hear the word and receive the word. Give him six and feet. Let the word change your story because there is people in hell six feet. burning in eternal fire. We're going to burn in eternal fire. Six feet. The judgment of God is going to fall on you if six you don't feet. repent. Six and feet. Turn from six your feet, feet, woman. This wickedness. He sent Jonah into that great city of Nineveh and he said, Jonah, go and warn the people. That their sin has come up before me. And Jonah, he went the wrong way. But guess what? I'm a real preacher. I'm not going the other way. I'm going the way of the Lord. And the way of the Lord is right here. Raising up a standard of righteousness. Because the Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises a standard against you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is against these devils. If you don't repent, the judgment is coming to your house. Corona was the beginning. The coronavirus was the beginning. But the judgment of God is sure to come to your house. And I love you, sisters. I love you. She ain't your sister. She ain't your sister. I love you. And then I love you. Black. Accomplish it, but whether I sent it to do today, we sent forth this word 
into the earth right now. We repent every curse, every lie, every wish. We bring you down in the name of Jesus. We decree that this city is yes, in the Lord, name of Lord. Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. We shall serve the Lord. Lord. Amen. As for me and my house, in Joshua 24:15, the word of God says, Please this day, whom you may serve. But as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. That's right. You have made a choice to serve the devil, and you have made a choice to sin in your body, in your members, and to present your members as members and instruments of uncleanliness. God said, be yeah. holy. Some of you call Amen. yourself Christians. You are not a Christian. Amen. You have walked away from God. And God is calling you back to Him. He's calling you back to Him. Jesus says He's married to the backslider. That's why we are warning you today. Because some of you have walked away from the Lord. And we come here to let you know. We come to let you know that it's the love of God that leads you out unto repentance. Today, harden not your heart in the day of provocation because God is a just God. He's a righteous God. In the Bible, it declares that there will be, uh, 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 there will be wars, there will be uh, uh, earthquakes, there will be famines and disease in diverse places. There will be earthquakes. There will be wars and rumors of wars. He said that there will be pestilences. He said that this is not, this is only the beginning. We are going to go into a battle round of judgment. And I'm here to let you know that you must turn to God. See, Jesus said that I am the way, that I am the truth, and I am the light. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Lord, come out of this demon in Jesus' name, come out of this demon in Jesus' name, glory to Jesus against the power, Jesus name, push back darkness off these people, 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 homosexuality will push you back, the spirit of God will push you back, in Jesus' name, we push back darkness in Jesus' name, cast down these devils in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. How you doing, sir? God bless you. Jesus is against you, Satan. Every hair of every homosexual spirit is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against these people. Everywhere we go, the Lord says, I am with you. The Lord is with both. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Hurting up your heart 
Because the word of the Lord is repent and rest bad. Because judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Judgment will fall. Judgment will fall. Tornadoes will come. Earthquakes will come. Famous diseases will come. Sickness will come. Lord shall come. The Lord is saying repent. It's the love of God that we are standing here. This is not a hate message. The Bible is for you to get right with God. You must get right with God and turn and turn and turn and turn or you will burn in eternal fire. In the lake of fire, set apart for the devil and all his angels, we are going to burn in eternal fire. So they can't get in front of you. So they can't get in front of you. And that's why we're preaching the word. The word. His word is true. He said, let my word be true and every man a lie. The word of God is true. It's sharper than any other two-edged sword. It's piercing. The thunder. It's just a divider. It's a divider of bone and bone. And it's a discerner of the thoughts. The thoughts and the hearts of men. The word of God is coming to judge you, my brothers and sisters. Yes, Today is coming forth. It's coming. It's incorruptible. You can't be judged unless a preacher comes and preach the word of God. And we are standing here. And we are here. And we're not going nowhere. See, the Lord says, if there's ten righteous, we can overthrow the city. He says, if there were forty, we can overthrow the city. He said, no. He said, if there were thirty, we can overthrow the city, but I'm telling you here, this is a way of the anointing of God. It's going to hit this place because God is with the Elohim. And we stand, we speak to what, to what, to what Jesus Christ. We call you to come back to your love, your first love. Come back to your first love, which is Jesus Christ. Father, we can see the blood of Jesus. The blood is, is stronger than anything. There is nothing that can harm us. We can see the blood. The world will judge you. You are false prophets. You call yourself a pastor. You are not a pastor. You are a false prophet. And the Lord is going to judge you. It's a witchcraft that you are in. And today, we command. We command everything that's not like to be loose. To be loose. To be loose. We command it. We command it. We command it. We that the judgment of God has already come forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blood of America. Jesus. Oh, deal with them, Lord. Repent. The Lord of Jesus. That they don't want to depart from sin. That's the calling of America. We are hypocrites. It is the calling of America. But I'm here to warn you. It, it's so, and it is today, even like it was in the day of Noah. We have to stand for righteousness. Noah was a preacher of righteousness. You preach the word. The Bible says, preacher, preach the word. Be instant, in season and out of season. We poke and court when all Lord's suffering and teaching. So the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But they will heap upon themselves teachers having itching ears that will turn away from the truth and turn unto a lie. The lie is that you can be homosexual and go to heaven. The truth is if you repent, Jesus Christ will save you. I'm going to tell you the truth. It is what it is. He will save you if you repent and turn back to God. God is a holy God. The Bible says that if you call unto me, I will answer thee. Hey, Joe! Say the mighty thing Joe. that you know not. So today, call unto God. You must call unto Him, and He will hear you. Amen. Yeah, let Joe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joe, yeah, hey, J Jacob, Jacob, take his banner, he's switching, he's switching. Yeah, just keep the bullhorn pointing that way.
Dustin, 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 Jesus, Jesus. Okay, guys, contrary to what you believe, we actually love you. Contrary to what you believe, we actually want the best for you. We want you guys to have great lives. Because Jesus wants you to have a great life. He wants you guys to have a great life. I look better than any of these. Jesus wants you to have a great There's one big problem though. You are a walking feet. abomination to God. You are disgusting the way you're acting. The what, what you're doing is horrible. What you're doing is not smart. Having gay sex is unhealthy. Having gay tell sex me is not good for your mind. It's a lie. You can tell you're trying, bud. A hey, a banana feels the good up your nose. Why don't you try LBGT that? LBGT is a new spirit. <laughs> that's not, I mean, that's you logic. So I mean, about sex. Logic you that Jesus loves every single one of us. Of course he does. But, but, you know, but, we, don't, but we, don't get, we don't get into heaven unless we do it his way. He loves you right now, but you're not going to heaven unless you do it his way. Listen, I, I partied more than any of you have ever partied before. But you got to stop partying and, and do what God says to do. You need forgiveness. You need the blood of Jesus I hope you know that. Hey! Back up! Back up! Back up! I don't think so. This is God's block. Jesus, this is Jesus' spot. This is Jesus' spot. Back up! God bless you. Keep preaching, bro. Keep preaching. Just preach. Back up. Give us six feet. Six feet. You will keep my Give us six feet. You guys are six feet. Six feet. That's Ohio law. Six feet. Six feet. We're not coming here and uh, without a mask. It's six feet without a mask. Tell you what the Bible says. You need to learn the Bible. You need to do what Jesus says. You need to obey Jesus. Jesus said, "If you love me, you will keep my commandments." It's time Give us six for feet, six feet. Jesus. It's time for hey, you Jacob. to love Jesus Christ. Jacob. It's time for you to deny yourself. We gotta yourself. fix that. Lean it over my way. Pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Whosoever will save their lives shall lose it, and whosoever will lose their lives in the gospel church shall find it, the Bible says. You need to lose your life. We lost our lives. We died to ourselves on the cross. And Jesus Christ rose in our bodies. And he lives in us. But Jesus does not live in you because you choose to live according to sexual immorality. You choose to live according to lies. There are a lot of liars on the internet who say the Bible never had the word homosexual. This is a grave misconception. The Bible had the Greek word, Arsenokor, in it. And it was quoted dozens and dozens of times by historians in church houses in the first and second century. The word homosexual is in the Bible. And it was used to condemn people. Who live that lifestyle? If you live a lifestyle of homosexuality, with all you do, you don't know God because you do not keep the commandments of God. It's time for you to repent. You were not born this way. Jesus did not create you evil. You were not born this way. You need to do something for certain. You do need to get born again. You do need to get born again and speak out for the Lord Jesus Christ. You do need to fear God and keep His commandments. Because if you don't, your lifestyle will be destructive. Your relationship with your family will degrade. You will not be the loving person. Because your identity is based on sexuality. And whenever somebody bases their identity on sexuality, then they are not normal people. Many of you are walking around with mental illnesses and you want acceptance. You want acceptance. And you Watch that pole, bro. Watch that pole. Don't fall out. Watch that pole. That pole is actually pulled up there. You don't need acceptance. You need to deny yourself. You need to pick up your cross. Hey, are you on overtime? 
You better not be on overtime, you know? Hey, Samantha, you better not be on overtime, What's that? Because God loves you so much, He sent us out here to try to pull you out of the mud. You can't listen. Go round! 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 Go Go round! Go round! Go round! Go Go round! Go round! Go round! Go I do. You need to the Bible. You need to learn the Bible. You need to know what Jesus Christ thinks of Let the babies live. 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 You don't speak for Jesus. There's the word to go. King James was homo, buddy. Guess what? Hey, guys. James was a homo. He didn't write, he didn't write the Bible. Babies look great. You cool, man. King didn't write it. He didn't write it. He didn't write the Bible. Hey, James. Oh, you ain't the fucking Bible, dude. Wow, James was a homo. You speak. I don't know you speak. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. To encourage you. You. To encourage me to what? Beat the fuck out of you? Stop being, yeah. stop being a wicked dyke. Oh, it's a wicked dyke? No, Do you know what? I'm a straight woman. Okay. You fucking called me a dyke. You're incorrect about that. So let me tell you something. Well, then don't be a wicked woman. No, you already called me a, a fucking woman. Well, if you're, if you're not, if if you were a wicked woman, woman. If you're a wicked woman. Get it, baby. Oh, why did you flinch, baby? Are you scared oh, I of us? Face. You are scared of me. Oh, no. Yeah, you must be. Most of you, you have no problem with the gay man. Probably a straight woman ever hitting on you. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. Baby, I know you've had at least a tip in your eye. Did you have premarital sex? Have you ever had premarital sex? I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. You're not. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. Why? Because I'm gay. does not make me a Christian. I quit being wicked. But you have to know in the Bible it says those who cast out. I stop being wicked. You guys are fucking more. I stop being wicked. My God, my God, my God loves you everyone except you because you hate people. Yeah. Anybody who tries to say that anybody else is going to hell is directly in the Bible. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Scoot back a couple steps. Just come a little closer. And you know what? Karma's a bitch and it's going to come back to fight you all in the ass because there's a special place in hell for all of you. I'm sure he's had a few big fat and black cocks up his ass, too. I'm sure. You don't want God, and if you don't want God, you're not a loving person. You're so forgiving. Drop the sign and join us. All right, we'll do what God says. Drop the sign and join us. 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 Drop the when you start saying racist shit, racist. No, we're not. Not. What did I say, racist? Not you. You're what did he say? You're fucking camouflage, buddy. What did he say? Doesn't fucking matter. He said racist yeah, shit. He's a dude. You can do it. No, you guys. Yeah. We've got. We've got. The guy. Pre the guy preaching is from is from Lebanon, the country, and this is a black guy. How can we be racist? I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. So yeah, you guys are So you're playing on I have a color TV. I'm not racist, bro. You're a fucking joke. Well, buddy on the megaphone over there called some random black woman Shaniqua. So, yeah. He's he's an Arab. He's allowed to do that. I don't, I don't think that's how that works, man.
brand new. It's, it's, it's called freedom of speech, and we're in America. You can say what you want. So freedom of speech, we're not freedom of choice. You can say what you want. We're not freedom of choice. You got a choice, but there's consequences. Oh, yeah? What's the consequence? Depends, so, depends so, what your choice is. So you can't love who the fuck you want to love, but, and you can't have a fucking abortion? You can't? You can. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but there's, there's, there's consequences. Says who? Says you God. Pick God. God. God's fake. God. God's a fucking... I'm sorry. God's a fucking... Hey, if you, if you believe that, that's fine. God's a we don't believe that. That's why we're here. God is a... God. You can believe that, but I'm just telling you, there's going to be consequences. God. You think you're depressed now? Wait till you get to hell. That's why we're trying to get you. I'm always I can tell. I know. I'm not even fucking... Because you're not doing it God's way. No, God's a cunt. Why would I do it his way? Listen, I know you're hurt. You can be forgiven, man. I do apologize. God is not... If there is a God, God is a female. A black fucking female. No, 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 no. How's God... How's God not a fucking female? How is God not a female? You're looking at it with flesh. You need to look at it in the spirit. Spiritualize. Are women not women most... Like, no. Vindictive people out there? Mm -hmm. Sure. So God's a vindictive cut, right? No. Eh? God is spirit. God is spirit. Oh, okay. Those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit. Oh, so you gotta stop doing it. You're one to you're, you're one to worship a God of your imagination. Why would they choose not to be yelled at fuckers like you people? Just, why would anybody hey, say whatever you want? Just chill out on the aggressiveness. This guy's you're so aggressive. You're the one that's telling people to act like the other. That so fucking right there was shoving people. You're violent. He was shoving people. You're violent. He was shoving. He got attacked. He got attacked. He pushed. Her off of him. It's called self defense. She attacked him. Okay. Do you yeah. think you guys are going to make it that way? You're fucking ignorant. You gotta, you gotta give him a space, man. Just give him a space. Give him a space. Give him a space, man. Just give him a space. You're not allowed to put your hand in people's face, man. Listen. Does it listen. Listen. Does it Yeah. Do what? What? Just just not going to be you gotta give him his space, man. Those are fighting words. Those are assault. Why are you homosexual? So intolerant. Why are you homosexual? So hateful. Why are you homosexual? Have such a little man syndrome attitude. You're homosexual. You need to get right with God. You need to fear God and keep his commandments. If the Bible says you are speaking, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. You like that? You don't like that, do you? You don't like that, do you? Keeping God's commandments is not No, you shouldn't do that. It's actually illegal. No, it's not. It is. You gotta give somebody space. If he feels threatened, listen, if by Ohio law, we got a self-defense law, okay? It's called stand your ground. Have you heard of it? It's a stand your ground law. Right, stand your ground law. That means if he feels threatened by you doing that, technically, he can shoot you. So, I mean, don't do that, man. No, he could. I got it on, I'm recording everything I said. Yeah, so I'm just saying, I'm just telling you, if he feels threatened by that, legally he could he could shoot you. So why are you trying to provoke people to violence, man? Yes. You are a feminist. You need to dress like a man and act like a man. What's a man? A tucked in shirt? Stop acting like a person. You're wearing camouflage in an urban Go watch some hockey or something, man. I do like hockey. I can tell. It's not off. And this team lost. And Vegas isn't doing too hot. So I'm a little depressed. Listen. 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 Don't you have something better to do? No, I actually live a pretty low-key life. Your friend, you're like making your friend uncomfortable over there. Your friend over there, you're making her uncomfortable. She's worried about you. She is, worried, she is worried about you. That's my wife. Oh, your wife. You're, you're making your wife uncomfortable. Going to hell the way you are. You need to go right with God, sinner. You need to obey Jesus. You are sinning. You need to fear God. I am not committing a sin. The Bible says in John chapter 7, verse 24, judge not according to the mere appearance. 
Just have a good Saturday, man. Go, you guys go, go, go walk at the park and then go take her out to a nice lunch or dinner or something. Just let us be us and you be you, man. How can you say that with what you're doing? We're standing on. Do you understand how fucking critical man. Most of the guys here are veterans. Listen, we are veterans of the U.S. military. We fought, we fought in wars to be able to stand here, man. And you're coming out here acting like. When was the last time we were in jeopardy for our freedom? What's that? When was the last time we were in jeopardy for our freedom? Right now. Look at you. How is that? You're acting like a communist, man. How is my freedom in jeopardy? Listen, you're trying to suppress our freedom of speech, our freedom of religion. We're, we're not over there. We're over here on our little spot. We're on our little spot. We're on our spot. You stay on your spot, man. You get that sidewalk, I'll get this sidewalk. Fuck the military, man. Okay. Who cares? Listen, all right. I don't give a shit what you did. I you sure like that stimulus check? Yeah. I give a shit about You sure like that stimulus check? I give a shit about your character and your character's a cunt. Look at you, man. We're, you're violent. We're telling people God loves you. Repent. So are they. They're saying God loves you. I don't believe that shit. Why are you here? I believe What's your purpose? I believe in this shit. I don't believe in this shit. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. I tried. Listen, we're not we're not we're, we're not hateful people. We just believe what we we just believe the Bible, man. You so let us be. So the fucking Bible. All right. So do you believe in witchcraft? The context. Do you believe in magic? Oh, I know it's real. I know I know a high priestess. I know I know witches. You believe in magic. What's that? So when a person says, like, oh, I talked to God. God told me to do this. They go to an, they go to a asylum, right? Not always. Not, not always. You know Mary cheated on Joseph, right? Oh. So, so she got pregnant by a spirit. You know that? Yeah, Holy Spirit. Most of the, most of the major religions talk about the virgin birth. Yeah. So hold on. The Holy Spirit. Even Muslims talk about the virgin birth. The Holy Spirit raped a female. Right? Okay. We let her know beforehand that the Holy Spirit was going to conceive. Okay. That sounds like it was spiritual. It was internal. It wasn't external. That sounds like rape. It was internal. So he spiritually raped her. No. Yeah. No, he's spiritually. There's a lot of Jerry Springer like that. Listen, man, that was an internal thing. It wasn't external. No, he's spiritually. It was from the inside. It was from the inside. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was inside. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. No. When the U.S. hockey team beat the Russians, that was a fucking miracle. That's a miracle. Yeah, that's pretty miraculous too. <laughs> If he feels threatened, he's allowed to touch you. Okay? That's the law. If you put my hand, if I put your, if you put your hand in my face, if I feel threatened by you, he's allowed to push your hand away, man. Nobody's allowed to put their hand in your face or your wife's face. Legally, legally. Depends on what. You waste your time on useless things that do not benefit you. You waste your time on things that did you actually do. You waste your time on things that no, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy. I don't think you have a legal right. What's up with that? Um, is that a guitar pick inside, like a case for a guitar pick? I've seen a lot of things. I've never seen one of those. That's pretty cool. My, all right, have a good day, man. We love you. Hey, 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 I didn't say it, I didn't say it, I didn't say it, no, I'm not moving, 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 I'm She's got a she's got a taser, man. I want to press charges. Hey, officer. Officer. Oh, did you see that? I want to. Hey, officer. I want to press charges. But I got it. Hey, 
I want to press charges. I'm yelling at his freedom of speech. What's your name, officer? Officer. Bessler. We want charges right here. I want to report. I want to report. I want to report. I got it. I want to report. All right, I want to report. You are. I'm not out here to make your life worse. I'm not here because I want you. Obey the officer. I'm not here because you need to fear God. The Bible says. It is through the fear of the Lord that men depart from evil. And the Bible says that it is through the fear of the Lord that the beginning of wisdom starts. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. We don't have any Break the law, you go to jail. Break the law. Break the law, you go to jail. If you break God's law, you go to hell. I'm a Christian, and I love God. But I do not agree with your life. Your lifestyle is a contradiction. I don't give a fuck. I'll eat pussy if I want to eat pussy. I'll get dick if I want to get dick. It doesn't matter. Because it doesn't affect you, you fucking badass bitch. That's what's going on here. Fuck out of here. I'm going to sign and kick your case. Turn the fuck up. We know what happened. We know. Kick you in your face. Cops right there. Go ahead. Right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Kids go to JDC. Bitch! I'm your fuck. We're going to jail, right? For what? For being gay? Touch my stuff. That's called really. Who touched my stuff? Property. I don't give a shit. It's a property. It's a property. My property. Your property. property. It's a property. It's my property. Have some respect. Have some respect. Then go. Then go. Across the street, little children. So tell me, why does that make you the good guys? What are you standing there swinging slurs? Is that what you Just go on about your business. This is my business. I am here to enjoy my day. I am here to ruin yours. God bless you. Because you're the ones doing this fuck shit. Your identity is a gay sex. That is how disgusting you are. Your identity. Is in your sex life. You worship your sex life. You worship what you do in your life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Was, mm -hmm. was so Mob was building up. You could feel it. It kind of it kind of went up and then it came a little bit back down and then it started to go back up again. The, the, just the, the spiritual realm. Yeah. And you are bound to Amen. Good preaching, brother. Good preaching. Good preaching. Good preaching. Amen. Verse 32. Amen. Yeah. I've been all for the last 30 days. Wow, praise the Lord. Yeah. We're going to do Columbus in two weeks from today. So yeah, so yeah. Amen. So yeah, we'll be in touch. We'll stay in touch. We'll talk more after after we get done today. We'll talk some more and uh, set some things up. You're a slave, you're a slave, and you're a slave for your sexual immorality and disgusting, pathetic lifestyle. You are a slave to. You are in bondage to your sexual sin, and this will lead you to hell. You worship your sexual sin, and it limits you. It limits your connection to God. You will never go to heaven being the slave. No, that was a close to God. Y'all imagine Austin, he called the cops. Huh? I didn't call the cops. It's time for you to repent. It's time for right, you, you to know the God of the Bible. It's time for you to realize that your lifestyle is not okay with God. You chose to be this way. You were not born this way. You were not born this way. You chose to be this way. You were not born this way. You chose to be this way. And the reason why you chose to be the same right. is because you want to Watch that right watch that right side right there. Watch that right side. Okay, we're gonna have to go over here. More than you are God. But I was done. So Metzler? Yeah. Officer Metzler? Alright, yeah. John Williams. Uh, Bible believers. We've been coming down the city since 2010. Okay. If I would have done that. Done what? If I would have, if, if I would have went at, if I would have went at her right. with a taser, right, uh, w w with, without any justifiable cause, right. you would be taking me to jail right now. Well, we're going to be documenting it. Regardless. That's what we would be doing. I'm just letting you know. 
Right. You would be taking so, me to jail. So here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? When we have crowds like this, most of the time, if we, even if we pursue charges, we're not going to take people to jail because there's two officers right here, right? Right. Okay, that that is not going to go well if we start trying to haul people off the jail. Sure, okay. okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, I mean, no. I mean, we could call but, in a bunch more officers. No, like I said, but I got it all I got it all right here. Okay. And um, she, yeah, I mean, I she, I she unprovoked this. by me, whether she got provoked at freedom of speech or a, a sign, you know, I can't help that. But if she comes at me to come at me with with with, with that unprovoked, okay, okay. So I just want to I just want to let that be known on, on, on because we're docking a minute. You have ID on you. Okay. Yeah, I do. It's a big sign. Get, bear with me. I got you. Yeah. yeah, we're a veteran group, you know, and we've been, like I said, have been coming in the city since 2010, 2011, and uh, we, we we support the police. We're in constant contact with 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 you know your superiors and with the with the mayor and everything. So we're coming out here. We just got our little piece of real estate here. They attacked us. And uh, like I said, I got I got it documented. I got video of everything. So when we're done, you give me your card. I'll forward the video to whoever it needs to go to. Okay. But um, definitely want to pursue uh, to the full extent of the law the one that attacked me with the taser for no reason. It needs to be an example. If we, if we don't uphold the law out here, lawlessness abounds. So we're out here. We're out here to to, to keep the law. As peacekeepers, like, give you a little bit of in intel so you know what we're doing. Uh, just so you can know, you know, you can expect where we're gonna go. When this, when this, when the parade part ends, we're gonna we're gonna march down to the to the festival part. And we're not gonna be staying there that long though. So I'm just letting you know. Okay. Just letting you know so you know what we're doing. Okay. You need anything else from me? Um, I'm trying to think. So, I don't know what happened. Obviously, what I saw was the taser. Well, sure. Okay. So, we have at least that. If that's what if you want to pursue menacing, we could do that. And then. Well, yeah, I mean, she's attacking I mean, me with it. Attacking me. Coming at me with a taser. Yeah. Coming at me with a taser. I mean, that's 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 not acceptable behavior in my book. Um, so yeah, I mean, she needs she needs she needs uh, some consequences for that, whether okay. it's slap on the wrist or whatever. So whatever we need to do, do we need okay. to talk to so, the sergeant or something? About do I mean, what? about you know how to go forward with this or, or so, what? So well, what what we're probably gonna have to do, okay? Because I I mean I saw her with a taser. Okay, more than likely we'll do. You heard it and you saw it. Her well, coming yeah, in. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, we either do. <laughs> Some type of aggravated menacing. Or right, right. It's, it's going to be a summons arrest because we're not going to haul her off to jail right now. Okay. Right. That's just not. Well, disorderly conduct. I mean, it could be disorderly conduct, and I, I've been. Well, I, I've been taken to jail for disorderly conduct before, but I got off on it because because it was bad, bad, it wasn't true. That was just for preaching. That was just for preaching. So, okay. so you know, I've been taken I've been taken to jail just for holding a sign out in public preaching. Okay. But I got off of that later when I got attorney. But I'm just saying, okay. you could take her to jail. Well, I could take her to jail for aggravated menacing. What I'm saying is, we're, we can do a summons arrest in lieu of that because taking people to jail in this crowd is going to add fuel to that fire. Sure. And it's gonna, it's not going to make you guys. Say yeah. It's not gonna make I, whatever you decide to do, I just. Want to pursue it, okay? Yeah, I, I, I'm completely. I'm not trying to pressure you. I'm just saying you could. Yeah, I know you could. We know you could. But I'm okay with you not because I agree. Maybe we don't want to. We don't want to mob. We don't want that. So I just want to make sure you're pursuing it, and then somebody's gonna follow up with me. Yeah. All right. Uh, can I have your card? Can I have your card? We don't have cards. I can give you my just name. Just the sergeant has a card. I guess there's no sergeant out here. Or anything? Our sergeants don't have cards. Our detectives have cards. Okay. Yeah. Just if you could just write down your name and then just put the number I can get a hold of you and because I want to follow up. Because, oh, sorry. because many right. of us out here, like I said, we're a veteran group. Many of us had problems with the law in the past, doing similar behavior. Yeah. And when we got in trouble, many of us changed our behavior. So that's the, that's the motive behind pursuing it is not because we want her to be in trouble. It's just that when people get in trouble, sometimes it changes their life. Yeah. So that's our motive, man. Whether, okay. you, whether you agree with it or not, that's our motive. All right, All right thanks. For, you want me to hang here? That's how it's destructive to people are. That's how it's selfish to people are. I'm not going to hell. I know God. I know God. I know who God is. You don't know who God is. You need to obey Jesus. Yes, he does. Why do you think they crucified Jesus? Why do you think they crucified Jesus?
one with a homo. Jesus was not a No, Jesus Christ was a great person. Jesus Christ was not a person. Jesus Christ was just free. Yeah, put a statement on me, sinner. You're going to hell, sinner. You need to fear God, sinner. Don't have to do the crazy I'm going to get a statement. I'm writing a statement. We done, Officer Messi? Yeah, you're Okay, okay, yeah. It doesn't mean you're a sinner. No, sinner. Jesus Christ was that. You are blaspheming Jesus by calling him sinner. You are a wicked blasphemer. You want to preach, brother? Yeah, let me uh, hold on a second. Just turn it off for just a second. Let me see what time it is. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. It's time for you to realize that your life does not last forever, but eternity and judgment lasts forever. You have fun today, it won't last forever. You need to fear God, people. You need to keep his commandments. We're gonna be You need to fear God, people. You need to walk him. We're gonna be we're gonna be moving down to the uh, Cal Courthouse Square really soon. Yeah, so all that he does. And we just deal with three places. We understand, we understand, we understand. But it's him. not just our noise you're hurting, it's the whole thing. Has nothing yeah, so to do with homosexuality. We're gonna be going soon though, okay? Real God soon. hates Real homosexuality. Soon. God does not approve of homosexuality. The Bible says in Romans chapter 1, that the men gave up the natural use for women to lie with another man, and likewise the women giving up the, the natural use of a man. Whatever you want to do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, take, you, 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 you want me to preach on the way to the park, or, uh, or do you want me to lead the way and no, you can preach, preach on the way? Yeah, but you're I, I would rather Christian. probably lead the way, is. so why don't you switch, and then I'll take a turn after you. You're homosexual Did you tell the pastor we're doing? Oh, yeah. You're not a loving person. You are not a loving person. No, I'm not saying your child's going. You're sending your child to hell. Okay. Okay. Why are you bringing your kid out here? Yeah. You should have your child take away from you. Give that bullhorn back. that bullhorn. No, your kid is engaged. Yeah, we're going to head out here in a few minutes. Christ give that bullhorn one or two minutes. You're just yeah, you're going to hand it to you're Jacob. You're going to hand it to Jacob and you're done. Then I'm going to be after Jacob. I'm not a devil. You're bringing your child out to a gay parent. You're a horrible mother. You're a horrible mother. You hate this man. You hate your child. And listen, you're you're destroying America. Hey, brother, in a couple minutes, we're going to start walking slowly to the park. You know, the courthouse where the festival is. You need a way. Okay. You are a sinner. You, you are a sinner. Like the I'm devil. Not, uh, how do I look like the devil? I love God. This is what a Christian looks like. This is what a normal person looks like. Oh, look at your haircut. No wonder you're biting your child out to get prayed. Switch him, man. Switch him. Go ahead, switch him. You make no sense. All right. Same formation as before. In the back, in the rear. Same formation as before. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Just tell them where. We're going this way. I'm first. Yep. Am I preaching still? Yep. Yep. Wait till we uh, don't blow the don't blow the cops uh, yeah. ears out. We're heading toward the park, toward the uh, city square, courthouse square. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I told him I'm, I'm pursuing it. I said if it had been me, you'd have me in handcuffs. I'd been out of here. I'll talk to you. Bye. Bye. Just ignore. Bye. Bye. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Yeah. Love. God is love, but what is love? Is love sodomy? Is love pedophilia? Is love perversion? Yes, that's not love. That's sexual perversion. You need to know the God of the Bible. He'll clean you up. The God of the Bible will, will deliver you. Jesus Christ is the only name under heaven by which we must be saved. He's the one that, that can bring you to heaven. There's no other name. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Yes, no one comes to the Father but by me. Yes, that's the only way. It's Jesus Christ. Don't be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. You got to repent of your homosexuality. It's not love. God will deliver you. God will set you free. God will give you natural affection for a man if you're a woman. And he'll give you natural affection for a woman if you're a man. He'll set you free. Yes, he will. He'll set you free from those demons.
But what are you going to do? What are you going to choose? Life or death? Yeah. What are you going to choose? This is love. That you keep His commandments. And His commandments are not grievous. Yeah. Yeah, what happens at the end? What happens when you stand before God to be judged? I'm partying with Satan, baby! No, there's no party. The party's been canceled due to the fire. The fires of hell will consume you. The fires of hell. If you're, a, if you're a parent down here, shame on you. You're a bad parent bringing your kids here. Bad parents bringing their kids to be pedophile by these perverts. Christians. Yes. Yes. Bible says the judge, the righteous judgment. In John 7, 24, the righteous judgment is coming against you. The righteous judgment of God. Yes. You're growing worse and worse. You're getting more and more perverted. Joe, watch your banner. Watch your banner. Yes. Christ is coming back. Repent. Repent. Christ is coming back. To judge your life. Christ is coming back. To judge your life. He's coming back in flaming fire. Taking vengeance on those who do not know God. He's going to take vengeance on you. And those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You don't love God if you commit sin. You don't love God if you believe in sodomy. If you stand up for wickedness. You don't love God. Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you, God, for loving us. Thank you, God, for giving us Jesus. That you can set us free from our wickedness. Jesus Christ can set us free from your wickedness. Jesus Christ can set you free from your wickedness. Yes. The Bible says that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and all overflow of evil. Yes. Lay aside all your filthiness. Lay aside every flower of evil and receive with meekness the implanted Word of God which is able to save your soul. Stay right here. The Word of God. The Word of God is able to save your soul. The Word of God. You see what happens when, when you guys don't arrest somebody that does that then this is what happens. That's why I've been arrested for just preaching but the girl that didn't get arrested for the disorderly conduct, she's the one that's leading these people that are trying to start this violence. So I just want to let you know, and I'm documented that I'm letting you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for the God's eyes. Yeah, for the God's eyes, it's an abomination. Yeah, so you can, you can, you can change the laws. But you cannot change God's law. Okay. You cannot change God's law. Man can change the law, but you can't change God's law. God's law is eternal. God's law is eternal. I left you with that. He will all that like my spirit. He told me he liked Daniel. Unless you repent, you're going to perish. you got to repent. No drugs are coming into heaven. No no homosexuality is coming into heaven. Jesus was a No homo is in heaven. You gotta repent. You can be saved, but you gotta repent. You gotta turn from that perversion if you want to go to heaven. It's not it's not okay with God. If you knew the Bible, you would know that. If you read the Bible, if you knew the Bible, you would know that it's not okay with God. So it's gonna send you to hell. The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. God can forgive you, but you must turn. God can forgive you, but you must turn from your wicked ways. Turn to Jesus Christ. If you want to be forgiven, if you want to be forgiven, you got to be, you got to be saved. You got to repent. Turn to Christ. Jesus Christ is going to judge you. If you're a homo. If you're a drunkard, if you're a drug addict, you're going to go to hell. Love if you're sexually immoral, you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. You're going to burn there. Burn there. Burn 
fucking touch me. I fucking dare you, bitch. Touch me once again. Blood of Jesus. Shut it up. Back 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 up. Back
Hey, Sergeant. Can I talk to him? I got some. I got some friends with the county. Like I said, we've been doing this 2010. We're, we're a veteran group, okay? This guy. We're, we're, okay. So, so what I what I could do is I have some people in the county. We can get you through where you need to go. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. Okay. Officer Metzler here. Let's let's please address this issue so so I can document it, Sergeant Rhodes. So Officer Metzler here took a report about 30 minutes ago of the female in blue over there who attacked me with a taser. Okay. He witnessed it. Okay. And I got it documented. He witnessed it as well. Now the same woman. Let me finish. The same woman did the same exact thing right here. I snatched it out of her hand and then and then walked over to the. Then I walked over to the police and he grabs me like I'm a criminal and he gives her he gives her the weapon back. Okay. Okay. Deal with that another time. Woman right here, love we're still with it, still love with it. Love is love. Love back is love. Back her up. Love is love. Joe. Love, love is love. 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 We'll walk down. In the road? In the road? You want to stay in the road? Okay, okay. Love is love. 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 This is the guy right here. This is the guy. This is that's the guy. This is the guy with with the weapon. With the weapon. That's the guy with the weapon, Sergeant. Get out of the Go somewhere, bitches. Fake ass Christian. Yep. Don't give those fucks, girl. Don't give them. Don't give those fucks. I can't wait to go home and fuck my girlfriend. Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck her so hard tonight. Definitely gonna put my strap on on and just rail her. We have so many orgasms. You probably don't know what that's like. Oh, oh, sorry. Don't say sorry. Let's get with this back. This back tour. All right. Come up in on it. Come up in on it. I want to stand with you guys. You guys. Hey, Sergeant. Fucking piece of shit. Sergeant. I know you got all kinds of uh, resources at your disposal. If we could just put a, a line on each side just so we can keep our space. You can keep them in their space. We'll just stay in our little square right here. All you got to do is block this off and block that off. And then that's keeping the peace. You can stand here and talk. After I've been attacked twice with a weapon. What's your room right here? Can't you block them from coming in? Don't you? This is where the problem starts. They're just standing there right now. We're right here. I'm, okay. All right. Okay. But I'm just saying, if it doesn't work, will you consider putting up just Maybe. a block? I don't know. Okay. 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 There's a risk okay. that you take by holding the sign. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sergeant. Okay, but there's a risk that you take by holding the sign. It's time to think about your It's America. It's America. It's time to think about judgment day. It's time to think about God. It's time to think about what is sin and what is not sin.